From my perspective, the concept of a 1031 exchange is very simple. From my understanding, the details and the execution of that is way more complicated. So we understand it. We'd like to make sure that we execute it. What are you teaching them about taxes? Um, what are you giving in terms of a recommendation of how much of their portfolio should be in your REIT? What do those guidelines and guardrails look like? Yeah, so we're not allowed to give any recommendations. Um, uh, so that's number one, you know, that will be a financial planner's duty. Uh, we, we cannot give any recommendations. All we can really express is, you know, we, we do share that, you know, look, the, you know, the average recommendation is 10% of your portfolio in real estate, wealthy individuals, high net worth put in anywhere from, you know, 20 to 40%. So, you know, real estate is an important asset. Here's why it's beneficial because it doesn't have the price volatility that, you know, equities or stock or um, crypto or things like that nature have. It pays an income. So you're actually, you know, you, the price can go down, which means your, you know, your return is gone, but we can't take your income back. We can't ask for their dividend back. So that's yours. So you protect yourself and build your wealth through that. Um, it's monthly dividends. So you can compound that. So, you know, these are the things we can share with them, but we, we cannot guide them into what they should do as an investment. We can only offer them the opportunity. Well, in the education too, I think that's fair. I mean, that sounds to me like what you're doing. Um, what happens to the properties when you're done with them? So you've got a, a 10 year or a 12 year window on them and now the pro you're ready to move on to something else. Are you doing 1031 exchanges? Well, it's possible that we would if, you know, uh, we haven't had that the challenge yet, but if a property, you know, has appreciated a lot, you know, and let's say, you know, we buy a gas station now, all of a sudden, you know, that real estate is, you know, uh, significantly more expensive because somebody wants to build a condo on it and the lease is expiring and they give us a great offer. Yeah. We would consider taking that offer. That would be our producer responsibility for our investors. A lot of the times we want to, you know, have that person re-sign another lease, which many times they do, but you know, the markets will determine, um, what direction we go. If we were to sell it uh, and we were to take a capital gains, we obviously don't want to pay the taxes and, and have the investors lose out on that. So, you know, 1031 exchange would likely be the way we would go. What's your biggest frustration when it comes to a 1031 exchange or capital gains tax deferral options? Exactly that, having to execute it. So, uh, you know, I think that's something that, um, we would, you know, we don't want to mess that up because messing that up is extremely costly. So yeah. when, you, when, when you're doing something like that, you want to work with someone who has experience and understands those laws. From my perspective, the concept of a 1031 exchange is very simple. From my understanding, the details and the execution of that is way more complicated. So we understand it. We'd like to make sure that we execute it. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing here, you know, the Capital Gains Tax Solutions podcast. And, you know, even with the expert commercial real estates, you know, secrets podcast is really helping educate people about, you know, what some of the other options are when you have highly appreciated assets and ha how do you sell them and continue to defer those capital gains taxes. I don't know if it's exactly on point here, but it's just kind of what came to mind. And I know a lot of our listeners are very attuned to that. If you are listening to this podcast and you want to learn more about the Deferred Sales Trust, how to, to sell a highly appreciated asset and continue to defer those capital gains taxes, um, I'd be happy to talk to you again. I'm Jessica Lanning at LanningFinancial.com, and you can also go to the CapitalGainsTaxSolutions.com website. <laughs>